What's up YouTube? It's Sauce Outdoor Life. I got a surprise for y'all. Stick around. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications every time we upload a video. It'll send you links to our videos. And it will help me grow this channel even bigger. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I've got something extra special for y'all. I'm going over my boat tour. And to start things off, you don't need an expensive boat or anything like that. I've seen boats that are eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000. What you need, I don't, I don't see any reason for a $90,000 boat. That's more than my freaking house. I don't understand why boats are so expensive. One is the motor, I know. But the boat that I have was only $1,200. And it runs. Has some issues, yes. But for what I like to do, it does the job. But let's go over what we have in the boat. All right, let's start things off. This is pretty much my day box. Uh, there's chatter baits, swim, uh, swim bait, dirt baits, and anything I can possibly need at a pinch is right there. Up here in front is all of my hooks, terminal tackle, uh, a couple Guggen baits. If y'all hadn't checked out my review on Guggen baits, go check that out. I will link the video down in the description. And yeah, you need to go buy some Guggen baits. I love those things. I uh, got the trolling motor. Um, I need to actually get a new one. That one's about wore out. The box behind me, there's really nothing too crazy in it. It's just fire extinguisher, stuff like that. All right. I don't see how big people sit in these things. All right. What I'm using is a Lawrence, Lawrence, whatever, however it's pronounced. It's a Hook 5X. I have just figured out how to use this thing. I was in the water and it was saying it was like 78 feet, which I know was badly wrong. It was stuck on simulation mode and I finally figured out how to do it. Uh, up beside me, I've got my little cushion floater, net, sat passenger. But in the back, I'm sitting on the live wheel right now. In the back is where the money is. That is not very important. These are all my. Uh, I got whopper floppers, top water, uh, crankbaits, stuff like that. All my hard plastics. Here is nothing really fantastic, just a couple swim baits. I've got to get some more tackle and move this to slide. In here, I've got all of my jigs. Uh, there's chatter bait in here. I need to go do some jig fishing. Right now is perfect time. This one I keep all of my soft plastics, stuff like that in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the wind. I know we're under a wind advisory. I just checked it. But I keep all of my soft plastics in here. all this back up 
Let y'all look at my beautiful face. My face is sexy. And the other one, just some pliers, life vests, stuff like that. Let's get out of the boat itself and I'll show you the motor. We've got the big sexy, the old dinosaur itself, Johnson 85 Javelin. This motor is roughly about 21 years older than I am, and this thing still runs like a top. One, a couple of things that I hate about my boat, for one, this thing does not work. So my trim switch, thanks to my brother-in-law, is a freaking toggle switch. Let me turn it off before it runs my battery dead. And I... So yeah, let's go inside and I'll show you my rods and reels that I use. Uh, I'll show you my wife's. All right, first rod and reel that we're gonna show you is the Guggen Baits or Guggen Squad rod and reel. It's the spinning reel. I actually took off the mono and put on some braided line. This is a really good rod and reel. The only thing, the only problem that I hate about it is it's a two piece rod. I've mentioned that in some other videos, but that is one thing I just don't like about it. I don't like two-piece rods. Next up is the Luz Mach 1 spinning reel and rod combo. This is a 6.9 uh, medium action and... I use this pretty much every time I go out. Is I know I leave plastic on every one of my rods and reels. I don't know why. This is the American Hero bait caster. This is one of the best rod and reel combos that I have. I love this thing. I'm not. The next one is an Abu Garcia reel, and this is on. I don't know what kind of rod this is. I guess it's one that my grandfather had given me a long time ago. This pro rod's probably older than I am, and still looks brand new. But that will do it for this video. Uh, I will leave links down in the description below where you can find uh, the loose baitcaster combo and more lures that I, I recommend highly a, a case. And of course, if I can speak today, of course, the Guggen Squad baits. So we will see you on the next video. Thank each and every one of you for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.